Welcome right into the Command Center Podcast. I'm Logan Paulson here with Fred Smoot and Santana Moss. Yep, Guys, yep. how was the weekend? Man, it was good. How was your weekend down was, at the combine, It was bro. good. It was a lot of fun, man. I was supposed to be there. Yeah, I sent you a message, so I wanted did you partake in anything at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. You know, so I go out. I, go, I went out every night, mm -hmm. but I don't drink, obviously. Yeah. But like, that's where. Come on, man. Because they, they get out of meetings. The coaches get out of meetings at like eleven o'clock, right? Yeah. So you go out after that, and then they're all hanging out and good to catch up with some friends and get some inside scoop and talk to some scouts and yeah. it's it's a good time for sure. I it's saw like, I saw who's your mama there and Reggie Wayne there to the um down there dude. doing a doing yeah. a doing a, doing a yeah. They was on the field, so yeah. I, was, I was interested. Well, no, they always let a couple. But I know Reggie. Yeah. He, you know he's a coach receiver, to, yeah. uh, coach there. And, so. and TJ been doing a lot through that because he trains a lot of these guys no, I didn't know that fresh out of college yeah. like uh, Justin Herbert yeah, yeah TJ Husmanzada uh, he, he do a quarterback and a receivers camp on the west coast I didn't know that so he, know that. he's always good. in good. The, the what's next I talk okay. to TJ all the time so yeah. he could do yeah, it is a good dude. And then, yeah, it was, yeah, Reggie does like, is he, is he work with the team? Do you know? He's a receiver coach. coach for the coach. coach. What? Yeah, you didn't last, know that? For the last two years. What planet have you been on? I did not know you that. You know that? It's crazy, though, they let him do the media stuff like that, though. Yeah. Well, you know, imagine if they a, let the media, like if the, the receiver coach here was just doing the. Yeah, but what he, well, he was doing NFL Network before he started coaching. So uh, I guess yeah. by him having that relationship there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. All right. Well, let's learn something new every day, I guess. And we are going to talk about the combine in more detail. But first, let's talk about some news. We got the release. Kind of sad news. Kind of sad news-ish. The release of Charles Leno and Logan Thomas, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. What does that mean uh, moving forward for the team? Uh, you know, if you had to ask me, it's just one of those things. You know, uh, when you see new regimes come in, one of the things that I remember being here, and I was proud of myself by not being one of those guys because – Sometimes, you know, they want veteran leadership, but they don't mm -hmm. want to carry just guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just guys that's, that are veterans. You don't yeah. get me wrong. I thought the world of Logan, I, he was, I was, I a, love big, Logan. I was a big Great fan guy. of Logan. Yeah. His body um, failed him, though. I think when you look at what Leno has did, he was he was valuable in the state of being being there, you know, being available for us. But I think we could do better at that position. So, yeah. you know, it was probably time for him to go. You know what I mean? Especially with the money that he's probably mm -hmm. going to be making also. But um, those guys served their purpose while they was here. It's just a new regime here trying yep. to get better at that position, at both of those positions. And I guess it was time to see them guys, you know, go hey, on their way. Thank you guys for their time. Like you said, Logan, Virginia, through and through. Yeah. I think his body started to fail him at the end. A lot of concussions, ankle, knee. And I think they just want to get younger everywhere. I think they want to get younger and stronger everywhere. But, you know, like we all know, when you go to the dentist, you got a dead tooth in there to save the other 40. I'm going to need to get this one out of here. Yeah. All right? So this, what I think for the overall health of this new regime in this team, yeah. they had to remove a couple of yeah. people, and they did. And then also, too, when you look at the cap, man, it just gave us, just gave us more wiggle room. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you save, about, money. you save about $17 million in, by cutting them. And obviously Leno's getting hip surgery in a couple of weeks and, you know, 33 years old. When, when new regimes, like you said, the Santa, they come in, they want to get a little bit younger yep. at key spots. They also want to keep that leadership. And I think the, both these guys were, while excellent leaders, were kind of near the tail end. Yeah. It's time for them to move on. And again, thank you for their service and all that they've done for the organization. Oh, yeah. Like you said, Virginia guys and, and you know, Leno, great member of the community in terms of all the mm -hmm. charity oh, no, work that he his did. Off yeah. the field work is impeccable. Yeah. yeah. Right? So both those guys are like that. And it, you know, it's obviously tough when guys have to leave and, and go. But we person. all been cut before. See, that, that's the thing about. Man, have you been cut? This, no, this I, just ran, I, just ran my, I just ran my course. <laughs> <laughs> Release, cut, whatever you want yeah. to say. Like, it's such a yeah. business, yeah. man. My contract was up and I just didn't come and back. I, and <laughs> I think we just, we numb to the fact. Yeah. Uh, when we see people get cut to us, it's just normal. It's, it's, right? yeah. What's next for him? Like, he going to have to, you know, pick up the pieces and do something next. I think we're used to that. And not saying that it's right, mm -hmm. but we know the belly of the beast that we play in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, wish him the best of luck. Yeah, definitely. Um, just a reminder, we're brought to you by Bet365. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe every sport should be epic right now. New customers can choose between two offers when they open an account at Bet365. Use the QR code to sign up, deposit 10, and choose between either. First bet safety net offer by placing a bet up to a thousand. If your qualifying bet loses, you receive a match refund in bonus bets or bet and get offer and place a bet of five or more and get 150 in bonus bets. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary bet 365, official sports betting partner of the Washington Commanders. Must be 21 plus and physically located in Virginia. Please gamble responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and won't help, call 1 800 Gambler. 
All right. And so yeah. combine talk now. Yes. But before we get into like the, the prospects, which is what everyone wants to talk about, we got to talk about a story that came out while I was out there mm -hmm. and it was that Josh Harris yes. mm. was in the interview room. Mm. So the first question is, does this matter? <laughs> it no. matters none. <laughs> no. If I pay six billion, I don't go where I want to. <laughs> <laughs> like at the end of the day, where y'all going? I'm going too. Going like to what, what, what's wrong? With the end? I think our generation, we're used to it because yeah. they used to do it like yeah, that. We, yeah, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we've been in those rooms where you saw an owner or two here and there. Yeah. I didn't see that from every team that no. I went and met with. But I, I remember, I remember when I went to the Browns. I told you I had that talk with Coach Davis, and their owner was there, yeah, and their GM, and they wanted to hear something, and you know, probably didn't get what they <laughs> wanted to hear. So I experienced it, but I don't think it's a big deal. And then also, you got to think about it. This that first year, real, real, real season, that, yeah. you know, that first year, trying to figure so out. So they want to see yeah. all this, you know, see the process, and that's one of the things that you know should raise a lot of people's eyebrows of how dedicated this and the ownership is. They are, yeah. These yeah. guys are trying to kind of peek in at everything to see how things going. And you got to think about it. When you're trying to change the culture and be a part of something, do bring back what we had here, you know, you want to see those guys around trying to implement their little two cents here and there. So I'm glad he was there. I'm glad he got the experience. I'm pretty sure that, you know, going forward, he might not partake if he don't have to, but yeah. it's a, probably a great experience for him. And it's good to see our guys, you know, really want to be in the thick of things. Active. Yeah. Just active. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. I, I love people that care about an investment, care about the team. And uh, like he said, I want a sneak peek of how, how, how's the cake made. Yeah. I I, I want to see, and then you're talking about, let's be honest, we're talking about a quarterback here. Yeah. There's nobody more a politician of the team than a quarterback. There's it's nobody that's going to spend probably more time with an owner and a head coach than mm -hmm. a quarterback. So, yeah, I want to be in here, and I want to ask a question or two. Like, how do you feel about D.C.? Is it a city you want to live in? It, it, like, I understand what he's trying to do. I just don't understand why they try to blow it up like it's something. And different. then also, just to put this on it, which is the obvious, you get a chance to see the guys that you just hired. See them 100%. Work. I'm so yeah. glad you brought you know that what I'm up. Saying? I'm you so get, glad you get to see up. these guys really do what they do. Yeah, yeah. Like for me, it's like if you're not, I don't think, from what I understand, he wasn't like asking questions. He's yeah. just in yeah. there observing, right? So it's like you said, Tana said, it's first time Dan Quinn's in the room, Adam yeah. Peters in the room. What's their process like? What is the process like of evaluating players? And then we talk about the important hires of the offseason. So obviously, GM, head coach, staff, all really important. What's next? What's the next big one? Yeah. yeah. Quarterback. 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 Right? Yeah. So I want to make sure that. I see this kid. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, not that I'm going to be able to give an opinion. Yeah. I'm yeah. not watching film. I'm not saying who doing you should any draft, of right? Yeah. I'm not doing that. I just want to get a feel for this kid. Yeah. And then if I'm Dan, I was thinking about this too. If I'm Dan, I want him in the room because yeah. he's done a good job, I think, over the course of his career of mm -hmm. developing businesses and identifying leadership. And I w I'd like that perspective. Yeah. Hey, what do you think of how he talked? What do you think of how he was in the room? Like yeah. he's 21 years old. Like, See, you just brought something up. The conversation afterwards. Like, everybody want to talk about the fact that he's here. Yeah. But how important was that conversation when the kid leaves the room? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, now we get to confer. Like, what you think about him? Oh, I, I thought he was a great kid. I thought he had great energy. I think he loves football. Well, how does he play? Does he fit into what we want to do? Yeah, he got a strong – like, I understand why he wants to ask those questions. Yeah, and so, like, people say, oh, like, owners aren't there. Like, Jerry Jones is there. Like, there's owners that come by. Right? I think that – Nobody's the, shocked when Jerry shows up. Uh, but, but I think the issue for me is that, like, if – I think, I think people have a little shell shock from yeah. when uh, Snyder was here, right? Yep, yep. That Snyder was like impacting draft decisions. Yeah. From what I understand from people that are familiar with the situation, that is not his intent yeah. of being in the room, yep. right? That's mm -hmm. not his intent. Yep. He wants to just learn about the process. And I, and I, you know, if I'm Dan, I feel good about that because he's yeah. a smart dude, right? Yep. Uh, Dan Quinn, just to be clear, there's multiple Dans in that story. Yeah. All right, so the next thought is J.J. McCarthy. Right? Call him Commander Quinn. He's moving up <laughs> Commander Quinn. JJ McCarthy is rocketing up draft boards. Yeah. What do you guys think about him? If you had to give an evaluation, give me, give me your scouting. And Fred, I know you watch a lot of films. Yeah, I, I, I've been watching him. And, and this is what I like about him. Uh, they didn't ask him to do a lot, lot. Mm -hmm. But what they asked him to do, he, he did it to the T. Uh, when it was time to make those big time throws in the game, he made those big time throws. Uh, when it was time to rush and, and, and break the pocket for three yards to get a first down, he could do that. He's a certified winner. Mm -hmm. uh, he don't have the numbers like the other guys. All right? But he's the type of guy that if you put him on a ready-made team, yeah. no doubt <clears throat> he'll step. Put it like this. The good parts of him outweigh his flaws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I'm looking at him through a lens and I'm comparing him to these other guys, 
He played in a he a national championship winner. Mm -hmm. where, where do you rank him compared to the other guys? Sorry, I, no, 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 go ahead. No, go ahead. no I, I think the other guys might be better athletes, but I think he showed at the combine. He got a very strong arm. Uh, he's intelligent. I think he can make every throw on the field. I think JJ could be one of those guys that outshine some of those top three guys. Yeah. Like I think he has that ability, but like everything in this sport, it's about who you go to. Yeah, like it's about who you go to. Could I see him uh, prospering in Denver? Maybe. Yeah. I, I can see him in the right spots. I can see him going to Atlanta where they're they going to run the ball a little bit more than everybody else mm -hmm. and him having them big old targets to throw to. I think he's good. I just don't know where to stack him with the top three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think one of the things that stands out about him and probably what a lot of the coaches probably had their eye on is just, you know, we, we talk so highly on um, the, the individual talent. You know, okay, who's the Heisman Trophy winner that year? who played better than everybody that year. But then you got to start think about the leadership at that position. Yeah. This guy won a national championship. Okay, mm -hmm. that takes a lot. With too. a pro coach and a pro scheme. With, with, with Harborough, with a pro coach, yep. pro scheme. Yep. You led this team in situations where we didn't think y'all was going to win the game, but y'all found a way to win the game, yeah. and, and half of it was led by you. Yeah. A lot of the time, it was you. You know yeah. what I mean? Make, so now you get him in the combine, and you say, okay, let's, let's now we can get a chance to gauge and judge this guy off of the guys around him. How does he stand out around these other guys? And that's why you're hearing the talk, because, okay, not only did he did that throughout the season, now he comes in and do everything we want him to do. Yeah. Do it the right way. He don't have to. You know, a lot of these other guys opt out, say, hey, we, I see you at my pro day. Yeah. He did it here. He yeah. did it under the immense pressure the, uh, the that a lot of people yeah. don't want to be under. So I think when you get a guy, just won a national championship with a school that had been, you know, and that has been talked about for so many years, getting back to dominance yeah. to do that and to have a coach in Harbaugh who's now le left, yeah. a lot of people are going to be wondering, okay, where, where did this guy stand at? And then you come out there and you – you measure out well. You go out, you go out there and test well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to be talking about this guy because he can be one of those guys. You know, every year somebody I've sneaks up in there. Every he, year. He's the hand that rocks the cradle. Every yeah. year we have a draft pick that yeah. shoots up after yeah, the combine. sneaks up. And becomes the hand that rocks the cradle. Like, he, his ascension is going to push some good players out of the first round. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You saw seven, eight offensive linemen that could go first round. Yep. Mm -hmm. like you saw five pass rushers that could possibly go first round. You, you, you literally, everybody talking now like it's six quarterbacks yeah. that could go first round. So good talent is going to get pushed to the second round. And also I think when it comes to him, he doesn't make in-game mistakes. Mm. Like, I, I see him play clean games. Yeah. And, and that's what I like about him. Where would you feel comfortable taking him? Uh, I would feel taking – if quarterback is the most important position, mm -hmm. I would feel good taking him in the top ten. Because mm -hmm. right? cause his position of worth says he's worth that. Yeah. yeah what well, Tanner, you got a thought on that? I'm, I never know because this stuff varies. <laughs> but I'm just saying because I'm a guy that's big on Knicks. And I understand his mm – -hmm. You yeah, know what I mean? Which a lot of you know, are. you know what I mean? I'm, I understand what everybody looks at him being older. You know what I mean? Being I like around. quarterbacks play a lot of football. No, me too, and, and I understand that. But I'm like, hey, wow. I mean, we talk about the the guy come out with us, um, uh, Winky. Yeah, know, Chris, Chris Winky. Chris <laughs> Winky being an older guy and and then not panning out for him. Yeah. But I'm just, I just feel like you, so, some of that stuff that you see on the field trumps all that. If, if yeah. the guy can go out here and measure up against some of these other guys, or they're young or not. He's seasoned. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might you might come you might be on the team that needs you right now. Or the other kid out there in Washington who had the two knee injuries. Michael Penix. Penix. Who, to me, yeah. who can easily sneak up there too. So I say, you know, when you ask me that question, I see three other guys, two other guys you can mention with him mm -hmm. that that somebody might just say, Hey, I want him because yeah. I feel yeah. like he can come and make us better right now. So I think easy first round I just can't tell you where yeah and so I think the thing for me is like obviously like not a lot of throws like Fred said um and they ran the ball a ton at Michigan but I think the thing when you watch when I watched him in person mm -hmm. like his arm is live elect electric yeah. yeah like obviously Joe Milton has a bigger arm and yeah. like that dude can yeah. throw it a mile but yeah. like the ability for him to just like layer throws make like literally touch anywhere on the field like that was a thing like when you watch like Bo Nix has a good arm yeah mm -hmm. but JJ's arm is it's better, better, right? Mm -hmm. JD, you talk about JJ not being an athlete, but like they run quarterback power with him. They ran him a lot. At he ran the ball. He's, yeah, he's tough. He's tough physical. Enough. Like he's smart. He went to IMG Academy, which is essentially college football in high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like dude is dude is pretty polished up. And then the other thing that stuck out to me when I watched him, and again, you watch the TCU game from last year, 2022, uh, where they got eliminated from the playoffs, is he makes throws over the middle of the field at a very high level. And when you look at the differentiating factors between an NFL quarterback and a college quarterback. Yeah. 
they make throws over the middle of the field. Call NFL guys. Yeah. yeah. So see him making those throws, tough throws, yeah. tight window throws. Yeah. And again, there's not. I think I think the thing is like there's not a lot of throwing volume, mm -hmm. but the throws he is making are high completions, really yep. really hard. Yeah. And when you watch like Bo Nix, for example. Mm -hmm. Bo Nix does do some challenging stuff. But and he's throwing into space. He's throwing into space yeah. a little bit more, yeah. and the offense, it, like, insulates him quite a bit. So yeah, I don't want to knock him because the offense insulates him. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't, want, I don't think that's fair. <clears throat> yeah. But I just think the physical tools of J.J. are – it was it was just really impressive to see it in person. You talk yeah. about Penix. Like, Penix has got a cannon for an arm, yeah. right? But J.J.'s arm was better. And, and the fact that he could layer throws, you know, hey, I got a little touch on this one. Yeah. This, I got to get the, you know, the driver out for this. Like, it was... One throw I watched him uh, make, I forgot who it was against, but I always, when quarterbacks throw across the middle, mm -hmm. they are supposed to throw at the back of the helmet of the middle line. Oh, body. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I watched him with a pass, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Literally inch yeah. away from the, the linebacker's head, and he putting it right on the tight end. I didn't see some of these other guys make these throws. Like, mm -hmm. I love Caleb. Yeah. I didn't see him make a throw like that. Yeah. And so he it is more NFL-ish. And I think like when you talk to scouts, GMs, like they're really hyped on that because they the projection yeah. off of those throws yeah. is a little bit easier. So I could definitely like you know, I probably have him as like a twenty to thirty player on my big board but right now. But, 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 but no, but no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So I think like they like that's very reasonable. Yeah, that he would go top ten, and so like you know, and then coming from a pro system. Oh I mean, yeah, you know, that's that's big. I and I none spoke, of these other guys. I spoke to you about that. That's what's one. Of the, that's one of the edges that we had coming out of the University of Miami. It was pro system all yeah. four years, mm -hmm. and we was pro ready. Like the way we practiced, the way we you know we 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 basically studied everything was like as if we was with the Dallas Cowboys because you know Coach Davis came from the from Cowboys it. with yep. Jimmy yep. and all those yep. guys. So we was literally sitting in meetings like this is what we're gonna be going through. I got into the pro and hadn't learned much more than when I was learning in college. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that stands out. When you come from a system, you making those kind of throws, it's almost like, hey, he's ready to come in here. It might be that team, like you say, in the first round, those top 30s, that's like, look, man, we just, we are quarterback away from you know going the distance or, or getting further in the playoffs. Let's put our, our mind in the head of a scout. Who would be easier to scout out of these quarterbacks? It'll be J.J. Yeah, it'll be J.J. Like, yeah. J.J. would be the easier yeah. to scout because yeah. – the other guys are not really in these pro systems. I got to figure out, could you play in this confine of this? Yeah. Well, I know he can do this. I know what he can't do. I know what he can do. So for a scout, I think J.J. would be easier for them to say, I stamp and approve him because I seen him do it. And I think to me, he becomes the candidate that just becomes super intriguing if you were to trade back. Like if you trade back into like the eighth spot, like yeah. and he's sitting right there, you're like... He is mm. he is talented, and again, I'd like him to sit for a year. There's a lot of things I like to do, but man, he is. There's no denying his talent. Yeah, still a little bit develop. Oh, they're all developmental, but yeah, there's some there's some warts there. But man, he is he is a talented son of a guy. I got a question, and I don't want to get off no yeah, we got uh, subject. How uh, we talk about the the main three? Yeah, mm -hmm. which one of those guys you think that's that's ready to go? Week one, like 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 that's, that's going to You're go through about camp. Caleb, Caleb, Jaden, Jaden, or or yeah, May. May. Freddie, you want to? I can go. You want I, to go? I would say Caleb is ready to go, dude. I, 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 I'm glad you said that. I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> that dude is disgusting. When you watch his film, mm -hmm. Tana, like his ability to throw from any arm angle, yeah. Yeah. from like lack of base, his ability to extend plays, throw across his body. Like no. it's not all on. Like he's not on time. Like yeah. I get it, but like yeah. it's it's like it's like it's intoxicating, yeah. bro. Like you're just like this guy can do anything with the football, yeah. And so. Uh, again, you, does he does he work in a timing offense? I don't know. Like you yeah. got to develop that element. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he his physical skill set is very very tantalizing. When we were watching the Super Bowl, when mm -hmm. we watched playoff games, yeah. and we were like, man, this game just so slow for yeah. Pat. Caleb has did, yeah, this. He, did, he has that did, way of slowing did, the game down. It just. Slowed. I mean, I've seen those yeah. throws and all that stuff. I, I'm just wondering, just because you know the difference is just getting in. You know, the pros is just different. The speed. I the, mean, you yeah. got those guys come off the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got those guys in your face. The little moves you made in college is just a lot Don't different, so, you know, Well, I feel like level. out of the three, he, Caleb would be able to handle adversity mm -hmm. better than the other two because they're going to come with early adversity. <laughs> I just think he would be able to finagle his way or weasel his way out of because it. Because he's so used because, to yeah, playing that off, style of football yes. anyway. So I just think, and with Drake, he got stuff he need to clean up. Mm -hmm. Like, North Carolina don't do a good job of teaching their uh, quarterback's footwork. That's why we had to clean up Sam's footwork. Yeah. It's very similar. So if you got to clean up his feet, 
now this that, that'll set him back just a little bit compared to a Caleb. So I look at those three guys all probably gonna go to a team that needs quarterback help immediately. Quarterback you know home teams. And the other guys with Bo, Penix, yeah. and your boy JJ, they're gonna go to teams the that's probably team. seasoned already yeah. and they could come in like like Penix could be a guy that can come in and like cause he has that kind of that veteran savvy already, yeah. like you yeah. watched him in college, like yeah. the guy seemed like he was just sharp. You know, what I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure how he graded. I'm not sure how he, you know, had, you know, how he spoke in his meetings. Mm -hmm. But I feel like those guys might land like a Lamar Jackson, be on a team You're where, right. where boom, they can go out there and really, you know, look better than the other guys because yeah. now they're on a team that's trying to be, rebuild or build themselves really around them. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, so I, I think, that's, I think I, that's a really I, good pretty point. Much that question. And I'm glad you brought that up because all three of them. Our projections to the NFL game. It's yeah. not like there's a Trevor Lawrence or an Andrew Luck in this class. Like those dudes are all projections. Yeah. And it's just about again, like where they go, where like, they land, like where they land, yeah. and what type of system you have, and how they insulate, and how they develop that guy. Because like, like when you watch throws, Drake May has the most like NFL throws, quote mm -hmm. unquote. Yeah. But still, there's a lot of stuff to his game Stutter that needs to up. be developed. Yeah. Like yep. Jaden only throws outside the numbers, like no middle of the field throws, yeah. takes a lot of sacks. Like mm. that needs to be developed. Like JJ didn't play in an offense where he had to be the guy. Like, yeah. that's going to take some time to work on. Yeah. Bo Nix had to be in an offense where he was insulated and, mm -hmm. you know, like... They so, play more laterally. So it's yeah. all all of them. Yeah. And so, to me, like, we talk about these pit, these prospects, they all, they need... The, the landing spot is maybe it, the it most important spot. And let me ask you this. Let's just do a what if. Yeah. What if Jaden Daniel end up as a Patriot mm -hmm. and let's go Bo Nix mm -hmm. ends up as a Steeler? Who has the better career? I think it's hard to know. Because like start. right right now, the, the better start yeah. it'll be Bo Nix because yeah, the Steelers are set up still, still to, set up to go win right to, now to go win. Yeah, yeah I agree. so they go they go they go. And they're better Eels. team. They're better yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, and he doesn't have to do as much. All right. Just a reminder, we're brought to you by Bet Three Six Five. At Bet Three Six Five, we don't do ordinary. We believe every sport should be epic. Right now, new customers can choose between two offers when they open an account at Bet Three Six Five. Use a QR code to sign up, deposit ten, and choose between either first bet safety net offer by placing a bet up to a <laughs> thousand. And if you're qualifying. Bet loses, you receive a match refund and bonus bets. Or bet and get offer and place a bet of five dollars or more and get 150 in bonus bets. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. Bet 365, official sports betting partner of the Washington Commanders. Must be 21 and older and physically located in Virginia. Please gamble responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call. Fred, <laughs> one eight hundred gambler. Oh, we gonna have to that. put you on the phone, man. You keep saying you I want know. to call you. We gonna have to let them know to put you on the other line of that phone. That's so. Yo, funny. Hello, this is Fred. <laughs> I <laughs> need help. <laughs> Gambling. Help. We gotta get. We gotta get you recording just for them. <laughs> oh goodness me! All right, so now we got combine storylines. I think we did a good job talking through JJ and some of the quarterback stuff yep. there. But let's talk about the. I think the story of the combine. Yeah which is Xavier Worthy Ooh. breaking the combine Lash. 40 record and just the way he did it I was yeah. you know obviously I was there so he runs he runs a 425 and I'm out like, the gate I'm like out the gate. no out the way gate. this dude's going to run again doesn't need to run again so he gets up again and this this was on Saturday mm -hmm. it was packed man it was like yeah. they were playing a game yeah, there were like so game. many fans there and it gets all quiet and everyone's like oh he's going to run again oh he gets out there and gasses it. They flash yeah. the four two two up there, so he yeah. tied the record. Yeah, they adjusted it later, but there's coaches in the stands like bumping each other with the stopwatch because you know if he yeah. ran a four two two, someone had him at a four one nine. Yeah, someone had, and they're like, and so there's scouts up there. Everyone's like laughing. There's coaches clapping. The stands are going crazy, right? So what was that like watching it for you guys at home? And what do you think that means for him as a prospect? Well, I'm a I'm a guy that you know ran track. Uh, yeah. 60 was my thing, especially indoor 60. Yes. I, was, I was a 60 champion. Yes. Um, when you see a guy, when I ran my 40 on pro day, when I knew I was moving, and I, and just like I said, what we talked about, if you run that 4-3, I ran a 4-3-5 out the gate. Yeah. So when I saw him run 4-2-5 out the gate, I'm like, it's no way. <laughs> Bro, go sit down. Never Look, show up again. Hey, you don't have to do no more route. I don't want to do nothing today. Yeah. You basically showed out just in your 40 alone. So when I saw him get up, the first thing I'm sitting there saying to myself, like, he must be just going to do something else better than that because <laughs> in order for me to try to top that, I got to have something in store. And when I saw him get out, I wanted to see the, the first I three to see his steps. First, no, I want to see the first 10 yeah. because I remember I ran a 1-3. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, I'm sitting there like, man, he, I heard him. <clears throat> I saw oh, he moving. He got out. <laughs> I saw his knee drive. I said, yeah. he moving. Yeah. And when I saw the four two two, I said, "Get out of here!" I'm literally, I was eating. I, I, I was in this bar eating, and I'm, and I'm, I had a burger in my hand. I'm like, "Get out of here!" Yeah. yeah. 
He didn't run that fast. Yeah. I say, what? And he just kept running. Like, yeah. And I say, damn, the fans, they're perfect timing. Yeah. But to see that later that he had broke the record and not tied it, man, it's just unbelievable. And we just talked about this a week ago about certain guys. I wanted to ask you about this. You know what I mean? Running that fast and the film not showing up. Yeah. So just, just, just also before you cut off, Jason just looked up. 1.4910, which is, I think, I think that's record breaking. Oh, that's, that's good. So that, he is out there. That's 1.56. That, that's that means <laughs> there one. Well, there was a, there was a lineman that ran a 1.5. So, so I mean. 1.59 though. Yeah, that's so crazy. So he was a full well, yeah. tenth. But yeah, like, so yeah, it's like one, one. and you're there. You're and he's there. Like, I tell that's people crazy. all the time, do you understand when people say this 300 pound to ran a 4.9? Yeah. Y'all don't understand that's one, two, three. Four, he's there. Yeah. Like, that's what y'all have to understand. Mm -hmm. This is it. When I was watching, I was like, this is the dude just go back in time? Yeah, I was... thought I was watching Flash. <laughs> I was like, this dude. Then I was like, all right, first thing I did was get to my phone because I wanted to see film. Because uh, like, we talked about it. Yeah. Most Flash guys, they built for track. They ain't built that's for football. That's what I was about to say. Because that's what you were talking about with yeah. uh, John yeah. Ross, yeah. right? Yeah, like, Ross then I seen yeah. the Southern... Yeah. The, the wiggle, the ability to stop, yeah. the ability to start, and he a punt returner. Yeah. So it's a hybrid the between film, he made he put on he put on a show this past season anyway. Yeah. Like he's yeah. been no, he played a lot, well. of, a lot of deep balls. I a gave lot him of, the nickname Tyreek Moss. <laughs> <laughs> he's a mixture of them both because he, he he's he's more yeah. skinnier. He got, he got Randy Lint yeah, yeah, and no, you Moss. He's Tyreek Moss. Oh, but I was looking at just him being long. You know what I mean? But like so he's only he's only five eleven. Five eleven. He's a hundred. He's a hundred. 165 he's pounds. pounds. He's, he's skinny. Dog, he is tiny. He is tiny. Oh, I thought that dude was about six feet. He looks no. lanky. He no, look, no. He is lanky. He's like, he's 5'11, but he's skinny as a tick. <laughs> but listen. But so, but so I, I want to bring this up, okay? I think he does oh, have some good, some good route running nuance. He yeah. does. He's got some good route running feel. But 165 pounds, bro, that's like Brandon Banks. Yeah, that's that's, that's like, tiny. Well, we got Hollywood. Brown, but but yeah. those small guys, man. The only guy, the only small guy that that that's that light that's been good over the last like ten years is the guy Tank Dell from Houston, or your boy from Tank, um, uh, say, Philly. He, oh, um, I'm glad. Oh you, yes, Deshaun that's right. Jack I forgot about him. No, but uh, Smith, Devontae Smith, Smith, yeah, Devontae Smith, and he reminds me of Deshaun Jackson. Mm -hmm. I, like the, the way he moves. But is he? Is he strong? Because I also see him get absolutely rocked in press coverage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, people get hands on him. It's like, you know what I mean? See, that's so. the thing about the game. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be like, that's something that he's going to have to be oiled up on, coached up on. But because, you, if you don't touch him, yeah. if you miss him. Because that's like the kid from, from the Giants who was at Tennessee uh, uh, last year. Well, two years ago. Oh, uh, which one? The, Not Jalen uh, Hyatt, the one they did. Hyatt, Hyatt, yeah, Hyatt. Hyatt, 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 Hyatt had all that separation because he was getting motion here and there. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And then you saw him, man, like he beat us a couple of times deep, but yeah. you saw him in the other games when I'm watching film. Yeah. If you're in his face, it wasn't as clean as it was in college. Stiff, so yeah. where do you know? he fit with the with the rest of this seem to be a uh Record breaking wide receiver class is. Could you put him up Everybody there with Rome four, four. with Doomsday? Yeah. No, could you put him? No. Could he, Malik Neighbors? No. No. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr. No. no. Uh, that Brian Thomas Jr. is a dude, specimen. He, yeah. Dude, talk about uh, like. So I thought he was like a fast, like big fast guy. Mm -hmm. Dude, he ran some routes like on the field, like his ability to sink and get yeah. out of stuff and not get bogged down. I like. I came out there like that dude could be something. I'm saying it now. He gonna have a better career than Malik Neighbors. Oh, that's a mm. bold claim. Yes, it is. We're I'll riding this footage five years from now. <laughs> that, that's all I'm just telling you, because this dude got something to him, and he's always been the number two to Malik. So, yeah, yes. so to me, this guy, Xavier, because because he's smaller, yeah. because, he, again, he does run good routes, but it, he doesn't run every route. He's yeah. like a go post guy. Go post. Yeah. And I really wanted to see him run routes at the combine, because they have that section where they run, like, the the, the slot guy stuff, yeah. where yeah. it's, like, decelerate, yeah. quick, twitch. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to see, are you running a 4-2 on that stuff, or is it, yeah. like, a 4-9? Yeah. And that's the thing about it. Like, you know, coaches will tell you, I had a guy, Daryl Jones, man, uh, from Dallas Jones. Carter. He was um, – he was actually a Z receiver. Like, he was highly sought out when we was coming into college. So I was behind him, and we was both freshmen. And like I said, we had Reggie as a freshman. He was an ex. So I never looked at Reggie because I'm like, he's an ex receiver. I mean, they do – he's, a, you know, more possession. This guy, Darryl, was blazing fast. Mm -hmm. But when you got on the field, he didn't translate what he did on the track yeah, to, to the, the field. field. Mm -hmm. And I did. Yeah. I, everything between 10 – 15, 20, and then beyond, it looked the same. Yeah. Yeah. Him, it was like a gather, and then I got to go. And love so like that, that was separated, yeah. the two of us. Mm -hmm. He started our freshman year. I would come in on third down, get in the slot. 
And the coach was like, you know what? Tanner get in there and his quick twitch, everything is like more like it, it's, it's more it, fluent. It looks like it looks when he's running track. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they used to tell him, you got to run. You got to run like you're running you're on that track, like you're running 100. And he couldn't do it. And he, um, we would talk about it all the time. So that's a great question with Xavier. Can he translate, gears. be Can that shift, same 4-2-1 yeah. within his routes, yeah. within that hitch, within that slant, within that, you know, that comeback? Yeah. You want to be able to see him be able to come off the ball that same way and threaten guys. Because, you know, if you have that, yeah. that's one of the things I had to my advantage. I take two or three steps. When I when I eat up that cushion, a DB getting out of that back pedal. They turn them hips right yep. now. Yep. Now you if run you can turn back. hips, yep. baby, you're going to win I all day. I always tell, this is how I know if a fast receiver is going to be good in NFL. If your number one route is a go route, you probably ain't, that ain't going to translate yeah. to the NFL. Yeah, right. If you fast, your number one route is a 15-yard comeback. Come back. Come back so that's you the thing. That, again, he in college, he's running goes and posts. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you see enough where you say, Maybe he could run a comeback. Yeah. Maybe. And again, the other thing I love about him is his 10 is excellent. So like you mentioned 100 meter guys yeah. and yeah. how they run 40s. They like, build, it's like they a plane. Build up. They build up. By 50, this they dude, kicking. This dude <clears throat> on his 10 teleported to the 10-yard line, yeah. right? I, I understand. I'm sure everyone's seen that that uh, that overlay of yeah. him. And, him and uh, John and Rock. And he's and killing John. Yeah. And so yeah. like I like that he's got that, that burst through 10. Yeah, that burst through 10. But again, like... I, I wanted to see the dude run a comeback, yeah. right? I wanted to see him run a choice, uh, an angle. Like, I wanted to see if that speed translated. But again. But I did watch him run screens. He's very good at, he, at, at running screens, mm -hmm. which he I have seen him got the ball and go zero to 100 mm -hmm. off a screen. So if you're a skinny dude, little dude, that's got to be part of your repertoire. The thing is, when it comes to corners, What's going to be his kryptonite? Is it going to be the tall, soft gardeners? Or is it going to be the smaller but, clubs? But come on, let's be honest, though. They're don't. They not beating up guys no more on the outside. Not the same way. So it's, nah. it's, it's, we can sit here and talk about that, that weight. It's not going to probably affect him. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it didn't it's gonna, affect Tank Dale. Yeah, it's going to be all about, it's gonna be all about how, can he, run, like how can he transition in routes. If he yeah. can transition in the routes, he's going to have a great so career. So I'm glad you brought up Tank Dale. We're going to get off this real quick, but we're yeah. talking receiver nuance here. So Tank Dale had one of the best on ball release packages mm -hmm. I've seen coming out of college. Yeah. Like yeah. dude could run every route, false acceleration at the top, throw the feet down, get the shoulders. Yeah. He's got a little bit of that. Yeah. But is it enough to survive at the NFL level? Is my yeah. is my question. He'll go. Is the foe two enough to put him in the first round? Right. Um because if you're a playoff I'm, team at the end of the at the end of the first round. Let's say this. I, I asked this question. Where was he before he ran the four two? I think he was off of just middle, film alone. middle of second, second round. round. Okay. Middle of second round. Yeah. So huh, see, Kansas City Chiefs. A, Kansas City no, Chiefs. We were just gonna say we were just saying that maybe he falls last player in the first yeah. round because that's all a team like the Chiefs they missing. Need, you know what I mean? need to go out so, here and hey, rebuild it. I can scary. see that. I don't want to see no Oh, he's top ten because of a four two. No, uh -huh. but I can see that. Hey, he he slides up to that that perfect I team. I know Andy Reid. Yeah, he's a Andy Reid. Don't forget, yeah. Andy Reid drafted Todd Pinkston. Yeah, Pinkston was hundred and sixty six <laughs> pounds wet. I I'm telling you now. I know how he thinks. He is slobbing it. Andy Reid is. He's they read his name when he ran that four two. They read his name on the paper for Kansas City <laughs> right there with the thirty second pick in the first round. <laughs> Worthy, come, come on, on down. down. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, oh, dude's got man. gas, man. And you know, I think interesting, like to think about him in a Cliff Kingsbury offense at thirty six. You know, like mm. just an interesting thought. I'm mm. not saying that's what they're gonna do, but mm. get past but, Kansas but, City. Uh, mm. Like, you know, what I'm saying get <laughs> yeah. those like quick screens, get the yeah. ball in his hands, punt returner. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, again, we go. Uh, we're gonna have to replace that that third that slot guy. You never know. I'm just I, again, I was, speed. I was yeah. a little disappointed because he didn't do the routes. But again, really nice performance. I mean, another guy that absolutely murdered the combine just from like a measurement standpoint was Joe Milton, the Tennessee quarterback, oh, throwing yeah. 70 yard bombs. And I guess my question is, they don't do it for me. Yeah. I have so watched talk, talk me through it. See? I watched Malik two years ago go down there. Tennessee oh, Titans quarterback yeah. and throw a seventy yard ball. That don't do nothing. I for think me. he's the first quarterback yeah. ever to throw it that. See, I, I I get a little discouraged when I see that because if I get a guy, a young guy, come in big arm, that's all he want to be about. <laughs> you know, we don't been in them. We don't play yeah. with guys with big arms, man. <laughs> Look, that thing. You gotta play football. Yeah. There ain't gonna be no seventy yard bomb. I love every play. A quarterback that throw hard because he's gonna yeah. bounce off of you <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna catch and the I'm, ball. And I'm not with all that. that, that yeah, that's that's what happens now. The court thing with Tennessee right now that's going on is they got a one read pass game, mm -hmm. and the question with him is can he process? Yeah, uh, yeah. it ain't can he throw because yeah. he tall. He got all the the, the measurables. Dude, I mean, think about it. He is six five, two forty. 
He didn't 245. He didn't run at the combine, but dude at the end of the drills did a freaking handspring spring backflip. Like oh, he yeah. is a athlete. Yeah, he's an athlete. He's yeah. an athlete. He's and watch him run. Like he's running dudes over. Like he yeah. is everything you want in a athletic physical body for yeah. a quarterback. Yeah. He's got it. But when you watch him play quarterback, mm. kind of like Ooh. is he Dante Cole? <laughs> is he Dante? Cole? I don't think he's. I don't think he processes. Even he might that be well. more like your boy come out of Texas. Um, who won that championship? Vince Young. Uh, Vince Young. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not Young. saying like he had a funky. Yeah, Vince was a little thicker. You know, yeah, yeah, he had yeah, a little yeah. different kind of game. But I to see him. what you're saying. But I'm just saying like yeah. you know he has that freak, that freakish, yeah. freak of nature kind of you know arm strength and the, the way he plays the game. You know. So what I was thinking is like, as I've always thought about this, just so like you know, football nerd stuff right here. Mm. Do you draft him in like the fifth or sixth round, and then he is your goal line? Goal line short yardage guy. Mm -hmm. Not like, with a, not not with if I'm drafting the dude at two. We like no, but no, but listen, listen. So like, so we got a package yeah. where we're gonna run zone read. I, you're I big totally as hell. Understand. Like, go get it. Get those short. Like Cam Newton with I was say or Cam Taysom, Newton or, Cam. or Taysom Hill, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Like that's your package. That's who we tried out there, and you go get it. You go get it, and not, we and we not, steal downs. We 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 invent our own version of the tush push. I ain't mad at go it. get it. Not I, when see you can't go in a relationship like that. I, you can't go in a relationship. I just got this new girlfriend. Are oh, you talking about for the command? I'm not. I'm talking. I'm talking for about the number two pick. I'm I don't talking, want him looking over his shoulder. He's saying. That. He just saying basically. I, I know what whoever, he's saying. Right? Yeah, whoever, but the last yeah, time whoever. we did that and drafted two quarterbacks in the yeah, same, but it, it 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 favored us well because we, <laughs> we needed to go to the second guy. Yeah, I understand, but the first guy. Was always yeah. looking for his hey. I don't but, know, but that, I don't know if you have the right first guy. If that's what they're doing. That's what, but that, <laughs> see, see, the thing about it though, if a team, okay, with that situation, we had to kind of do that, and I had to, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coaches gave us the um, the reasoning behind that. <laughs> but in this case, I don't think we probably would go that route if yeah. it's us. Yeah, another team you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I don't you, think we would go that route because you have a guy with already a passing quarterback, and they need a runner. Yeah, Could you imagine draft. if you went to like Philly or something, or like I'd be, be sick. To I'd my be mad. <laughs> I'd be like, come on, man! Like these guys, just, I can't see him going to Dallas. He, okay, and he's not. Just to be clear. At playing quarterback, he is not very good. He's but in terms of wrong. physical traits. But you put him behind a starter. Yeah, let him sit for Let him now. age, because eventually they're going to get tired of paying Dak. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they are. And, and, and I can see them drafting him in like the third round yeah. and say, hey, do the, hey, you the practice guy? We ain't even putting you in no game. You yeah. ain't even the backup. Yeah. All right? And we want you to learn. Learn from Cooper Rush. Learn from whoever you need yeah. to learn mm -hmm. from. But we need you to learn how to play quarterback. And I would not be shocked in three years if Joe Milton is the starting quarterback for the, uh, the, the Cowboys. Yeah, I and mean, he's kicked around a little bit. You know, he's at Michigan, Tennessee, and he's never really gotten there. Yeah. But – you want to be the guy that, that gets in there. Yeah. Because I, I could be pretty special. Well, all coaches think they can. You know, that's just the thing about coaching. All right. And then the other one is Amarius Mims from Georgia. So mm. let's just walk you through it, man. The incredible we'll bolt. <laughs> Dude is 6'8". He's 340. Thanos. He had 36 and, a, and an eighth inch arm. Like, that's like Dewan Jones from last year. Yeah. So then he, his hand, his hand, no kidding, measured 11 and a quarter. Okay? Yeah. That's as big as this piece of paper. Lord, like his that hand is that is that big. Imagine him just walking down and <laughs> slapping you to the ground. <laughs> and then on top of that, homeboy ran a five flat 40, which is the fourth fastest 40 time for someone who's 340 pounds plus in the history Ridiculous. of the combine. He's an RV. Dude, he's an RV. He's an RV. Have, have Pack the kids <laughs> and the family. We going on the back of Mims. <laughs> have you seen him? Have you seen that picture of him? Like he went to one of his buddies' interviews, like yeah. pressers, and he's standing in the back, and it looks like it, it's like everyone's at his waist, and his back is like three people wide. Have you seen that clip? Oh my gosh, dude, it is so funny. He is a Ricky's quarterback. A what? A rookie quarterback. <laughs> Blessing. Mm -hmm. Like, because the one thing you want to do, because we talked about the, the couple of guys we let go. Yeah. Probably the reason we let go, we want our tackle to age with our quarterback. Maybe. So imagine having this dude, this mountain of a man. You know I'm a Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. The yeah. mountain that rides. This is, this this is, is for this Fred. guy. Fred, uh, it's, uh, Fred and Tanner, here we go. Yeah. This, this is him at the presser. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Dad, you see this? I, I can't do nothing Look with at that. this guy looking at his face. Look you at this guy see, in front of him. See, this, is, this look like another, uh, a, a real Avenger movie. Like, you talking about <laughs> Thanos. You Thanos on the lanes. Yeah. This, this is this is him. And just imagine him this walking is, up to you talking about, I heard you were talking to my girlfriend. And he bro, did an interview with somebody. Uh, these are grown men he's standing in front know, of. Yes. Like, bro, that is. That, Dude, and he, he did an interview where he's holding a mic. And you know they do those mini mic segments? Yeah. His hand is like. 
so bigger than it, Mike. It's like yeah. looks like he's holding a tiny kid, Mike. I'm 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 praying he I'm praying he around when we pick. Okay, him. Let's, let's just talk about him as a prospect. Yeah. Okay, because I do a lot of you do. Good yeah, he's raw. He's raw. He's only played seven games yeah. <laughs> in his matter. whole career. Don't matter. He's had a little bit of an injury history. He pulled his hamstring on his second. His quarter. hamstring is this long. <laughs> Ball to me. <laughs> but so, Ball but again, he's kind of that Joe Milton yeah, I'm, I'm, guy. I want to take that chance. Uh, we wasted this last year when I was like <laughs> Thanos. Thanos. I was trying to get us to draft him. Everybody like, no, he raw. He ain't there. All I seen him do that this year. Ball out. Ball out. Yeah. So we, me and you both were on that. Apparently there was like a medical and a weight issue and a character issue with that. But still like. Sometimes I need guys with character <laughs> issues. Sometimes I need guys with weight issues. Like sometimes it's just about the players. Don't tell me what he can't do. Tell Show me what, me he, what can he can. Yeah. yeah. And so he, he's big as he's big as hell. Like he is, there's no, like he's like, you know, that old Bill Parcells theory. Like he measured bigger. Yeah. Like I can't get over how big this dude is. 36 That's, inch no, arms. And then what you he's, told me he's was still growing. in college, they were like, no, nah, he ain't but 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> like, how could you, how could you miss two inches? Yeah. Uh, like, no, nah, he ain't but 6'6. Six, six, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. He's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you he, he, he's he one of those guys that, you know, how when you played on the little league team, you just want one of them big guys on your team. Yeah. Just, just to scare the other team. Yeah. He just yeah. walk up Look, and pull his pants up. Hey, <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on, young man. You're going to be with me. You're going you to play with us. Is he's only 21 years old. He just turned 21. He's still so growing. So he's a man. baby, man. Listen, yeah, he's, he's still a growing. baby. If he's there. At 36? At 36? They need to let me run it up there. I'm a. Me, it, won't, me, it, won't get, it, won't, it won't get there in time, Fred. Yeah. Tanner's got to run it up. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is, you, you see what's name worthy broke my, my party yeah. record the other day. So, you know, with my face flashed up, they're like, finally got smooth. Him and John Ross didn't beat me. But it worked. Oh, but sometimes man. a project is what you need. Like, everybody can't come in the league yeah. ready from day one. Yeah. And Great you point. can't draft like that. Yeah. Like, sometimes. And then, just like uh, Thanos went shocked everybody, he could do the same thing. He could show up and be like, you know what? Because of this also line coach, he didn't brought me up to speed. I'm a lot better than than I was. And so I guess the, there's the seven game thing. And when you watch him play, like there's times where it looks like he's sleeping out there. Like he is. He, he probably got that, bored. He's just that good, though. Like, yeah, he, just, he even got bored. His technique's not great, but he's like, oh, you want to bull rush me? Oh, sick. What's up? I'm just going to hold you here. We're going to dance for a second. Yeah. He can run pretty good. Like, there was a clip. I forget who they were playing. It was like Georgia Tech, maybe. They're running a screen, and he's running out there all Big, he's, he looks like a you know like a distortion on the screen. Yeah, he runs up to the corner, or there's a safety. The safety tries to hit him, and he doesn't even bend. He doesn't bend at all. He just takes one hand and pushes him. And, pushes and, him. and the dude, I'm not kidding, Tanner, gets ejected. It was like <laughs> like he ran into a truck, and I was just like, what the hell is this? So it's not fair. There's there's some questions about his durability. There's some questions about his experience. I'm but taking a chance. Hey, they questioned. Yeah, he you, ran, you roll he, the he dice. Ran, he ran out. I'm that. <laughs> Listen, hey, how Fred said, give me what you say. Three four in the book. There you go, four in the book. <laughs> Bye, baby. So, Listen, some, I want it. <laughs> sometimes it's just not, every time we draft the person, they think, oh, this is a clear cut. It, Great it's draft. No, it don't true. happen. It's yeah. true. And yeah. I think that's a great point by Fred. All the quarterbacks, all the offensive linemen, mm -hmm. it's a projection. Yeah. You're just trying to manage risk and hope that this is the right situation to develop that. And you guy. also want Diamond in the rough sometime. Oh. And I think that's I don't know like, if he's even in the rough, though. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, he's, not. he's like standing up in the grass. You're like, yeah, what's you're that right, right there? <laughs> you see it. Yeah. You just can't pull it out. <laughs> AKA a a Bigfoot. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's who he is. He's oh a big old, big old hoss, though, for sure. Harry and the Henderson. All right, so let's talk about the other guy. Chop Robinson mm -hmm. runs a one five four ten yard split, which yeah. is the fastest ten yard split ever for a player over two hundred fifty pounds ever in the history. Like, how long is the combine going? Forty yeah, years, forty five yeah. years. Yeah. There's been some freaky dudes coming through there, and he is the fastest one in the ten ever. Studying him, I found out when he was a baby, Here we he go. was fourteen pounds. What? What? That's two kids. <laughs> I, that's two that, of me. It's like having twins. They're seven pounds a piece. Do we need to uh, fact check this? Or we fact right? check it. It, it don't matter. <laughs> and that's how you got the name. I believe. Chop. I believe Rick because he came in that real slow. Studying <laughs> him, <laughs> I found out as a baby. <laughs> He was 14 pounds. <laughs> he came in like it was truth behind right, that. First right? of all, that's the size of a tire. Right? Well, hey, T. Willow. All I'm saying is, oh. that's how he got the nickname Pork Chop. So this oh, dude. Oh, really? Yes, because he's a 14 pound baby. Makes sense. Like, I don't know if. If I could even push the 14-pound baby out. But what I'm you, saying is, this is a grown 
Man. I pause. I hope you can't put your foot. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. Like, I can imagine. I, I, I don't even like toting 14 uh, yeah, pounds. Yeah, I like toting yeah. Well, like, uh, this is huge. And for you to tell me this dude ran like this, yeah. could we be looking at another Michael Parsons? Yeah. So let's uh, let that sit for a second. And let me just, <laughs> let say, that let me just say this. From a physical standpoint, he's very unique. Mm. His play on the field is a little bit up and down. Mm. Right? Like, he's got gas. Ain't that just Penn State players, period? Yeah, it's like a Dafa Yeah, I was saying, just Penn State So he's got gas, mm -hmm. Tana. Gas for days. But he's not very productive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. every once in a while, you see them, be like, so he'll, he, he'll rip off the edge. You're like, oh, my gosh, what is that? And then he's like, never for the rest of the game do you hear so about So he ran around like a bad hair? Yeah. And, and, but, and he doesn't use his hands very well. Fred and I talked about this, too. Yeah. He's built like a little muscle hamster. Mm. And he can't put his elbows to his sides. Yeah. So he can't so bend. He walk around like so that. he's stiff. And, 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 and that'll scare me, but with all the other stuff, <laughs> like I'm like, okay, I can I can teach him some pass rush moves to use his hands. But he can't bring his elbows in, Fred, because he's got so much muscles. They remind me of Levi Arrington. Levi he walked around here all day. Like, <laughs> you know we in practice. But Levi Arrington, he ain't had no legs though. No, he he, hey, he, he, hey, he like a toothpick all, down, like a wizard tooth. Levi uh, Levi legs <laughs> compared to his upper body. Did not fit. No. It looked all. like he had been in a wheelchair and, for six and, years. And, and that's, I, bad. that's uh, bad. Listen to me. But that's where his speed but, came but, from. But he was a hell of an athlete. The speed, 40 inch vertical, 4'4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so Penn State makes these dudes all the time. Yeah. And that's why I asked you is he another Micah Parsons? So. Again, like Micah, there was like a ah, dude. He's he's a good football. Like I like I like I like the athletic upside here is tremendous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why he's going to go in the first round. But if he fell to thirty six, like. You take a flyer on a guy like that? So, let me ask you this. Poke chop there at 36. Mims is there at 36. Well, I mean, who's going to be there? Who's going to be there at 40? That's the other one. So, if, if I, one of those guys yeah. is going to slide to 40, I'm well, taking yeah, the other I'm one and then No, 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 no. I ain't letting you off the hook that <laughs> if, easy. If Mims at 36, I'm going with me. I'm going to get that I'm going to get that diamond that's 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 so not in the rough. I want him. <laughs> I, I trust me, I want, look, just hearing the measurements alone, knowing what we need on that line, but yeah. he ain't got to play right now. He yeah. could be a project. Yeah. I want I want to take a chance on that project. Especially like to see in Philadelphia line. Yeah. Over the last five, six years. But they do a good job of developing. So the thing that would hurt me more than anything is they take him, you know, at the end of the first round or something like that, and then he sits behind Lane Johnson for a year. Yeah. And then he comes sad. back, to, comes out of the lab and just looks like, and just like the steam comes out like Captain such a America. Yeah. And you're just like, Ugh. That, 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 that's uh, a, and you know they'll do it because they went all defense draft picks last yeah, year. Yeah. Like, so this year they trying to and, rack and up on it. They're trying to fan, find um, a, a replacement it? at center mm -hmm. and a replacement at and, and go. I mean, they tackle. So that would be that would make me pretty yeah, sick. But but again, let's not speak that into the existence. Yeah, we try not to, but don't want to put in the truth atmosphere. is the truth. But his production is a little bit down. He's very productive against bad tackles. He yeah. had a pretty good game against Michigan, but he's a one trick pony. He runs the hump really high, doesn't bend super well, but. Mm -hmm. He's twitched up, burst up, doesn't use his hands really well, but maybe you get him with a guy like Dan Quinn and says, oh, well, yeah, say, run you on stuff. Oh, poke chop, man. Yeah. Hey. Especially after Quinn just had Micah, yeah. I, like, it'll be probably hard for him to sit there and be like, <laughs> you know, we, we're going to have to pass on this yeah. kid. No, I can't see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. so uh, special athlete. All those guys are special. Little warts with all of them, but all very special, and that's the beauty of the combine, man. You get mm -hmm. to see some pretty special stuff. All right. So now we're doing the 2010 NFL redraft presented by redraft. NWFCU. NWFCU is presented by, no, wait, this segment is presented by Northwest Credit Credit Union. It is. The official credit union of the Washington Commanders. Stop searching. Go Northwest. Check out nwfcu.org slash Washington to see how easy it is to join and how Northwest can help make your money work for you. Work it. Stop by a branch or visit nwfcu.org slash Washington today. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're redrafting 2010. And the reason we're redrafting 2010 is because that's my year. Yeah. So I'm in this draft class and I'm very confident in saying... I will not get drafted again. In this <laughs> draft. Damn, Damn bro. Hey, I was shocked how many great, because me and Tanner <laughs> talked up our class. Yeah. This, this, this class, loaded. Besides yeah, quarterback, man. like I would never go for a quarterback <laughs> in y'all class. But besides the position of quarterback, y'all are tough, son. Yeah. This class is a loaded. We're, like, we're really good. We're really good. We got a couple of borderline Hall of Famers. We got some explosive playmakers. Oh, yeah. Trent Williams, Hall of Famer. Rob Gronkowski. And Dominic and Sue. Mark, yeah. Marquise McCoy. Pouncey. Yep. Jason Pierre, Paul, Earl, Earl Thomas, Thomas, Brandon Graham, come out of sun. Cam Chancellor. Come out of sun. Golden Tate. Eric, Eric Berry. <laughs> My Lord. Jimmy Graham and Brandon Graham. Dang. Brunk. Yeah. 
Dude, we're living our best life. Dino lives. Atkins? Yeah, Dang. guys. I mean. Oh, they got Cam Chancellor? Lord have mercy. Yeah, so I'm not getting drafted. Lord I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. But uh, should be. Jason, how are we doing this? We picking a number? Sam Shields. Antonio Brown. Don't know if I want to bring up AB. Dude, AB. I, I, dude, I was hoping you wouldn't talk about him because I was going to draft him. <laughs> okay, here we go. So uh, pick a number between one and three. Fred, you start. Here we go. Uh, three. Two. There you go. It, it is I. Jason. It is I. It is I. It is I. I said three here. Wiped it off. <laughs> and then put, like, I'm tired of Jason, man. <laughs> Joe Hayden. Dude. So. Fred, you want to go second or last? You want the back-to-back I'm going to go last. Dude, you don't want to go last in this draft because there aren't any quarterbacks. I've been saying, I don't want any of these quarterbacks. I'm going all players. Well, you you ain't got, gonna, you got, you ain't according to the rules, you let's read the rules. Quarterback. Let's read the rules real quick. Okay? You got to have one quarterback. So, 15 selections in a stake draft, five picks each. Each team must have a quarterback, a quarterback, a pass catcher, a defensive player, and two wild cards. Two wild cards. So, Anyone. unless you're running the single wing. I'm going Take college football's best quarterback of all time. Well, I'm going first. No, he's so going we'll, first. We'll, 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 we'll have you tell us that a little a little later. <laughs> I'm starting off with the guy that's, that sit, seats number one on this page, and that's Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford. Uh, made Sam up of I aluminum am. Force. Hey, well, guess what? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, a hundred and fifty million. I know that. <laughs> and what else? He national, got? national championship. Right? <laughs> oh, national championship and the Heisman. Super Bowl. What else? No, th- there you go. There we go. We ain't get go. Super Bowl uh, at in the Philly. Philly. I think in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> God, this is the luckiest man of all time. And didn't play a down. <laughs> My God, Sam Breath. <laughs> he's he's Sam. A- he's accurate though. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going next. This is tough because the remaining quarterbacks are Jimmy Clausen, Colt McCoy. And Tim Tebow. <laughs> well, I had to hear him get mine out of there. Worst quarterback <laughs> draft of all time. So I am going Colt McCoy, our guy. Colt McCoy. Round of applause to everybody. Oh, Colt. I think he could play. I think yeah. he could play. We get, we get some good playmakers around him. Colt, we're going to be all right. Colt still could play. All right. I am not taking a quarterback right now. <laughs> because no one else is going to. Uh, <laughs> Who would you take? Uh, I'm right? taking the, be- the protector of the uh, quarterback. Trent, Trent Wayne. That's yep. your pick. Trent. Good pick. My guy. Good pick. Hall of Famer. I knew yep. he was Good going Good pick. There. All right, you get another pick. All right. And with my second pick, I'm going to the Hall of Fame again. I'm going Robert Gronkowski. Ooh, Fred. Grunk. Excellent job. Double Excellent Hall of Famer. job by you. Grunk, grunk, grunk. All right. I am going to go. I'm going to go with the best playmaker in this class before he lost oh his mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Antonio Brown. Oh yeah, you're right about this. Yeah. God. And if you go on Antonio Brown, I'm going Demarius Thomas. Demarius? God bless the dead. Demarius? Demarius oh, Thomas. Demarius yeah. Thomas. Yes. Denver Broncos wide receiver was, was on a Hall of Fame trajectory. Yeah. Hey, man. Trust me. Yeah, I think Super both of you guys, so, both of you guys didn't see that sitting there in the, I, I in the understand. cut. Oh, Is I get another, another one? Oh, God. Lord, I had mercy. <laughs> I don't mercy. like the snake. <laughs> the snake you know what? Uh, this is going to be a tough one because I saw some names up here, man, that I just didn't want to, you know, let be out there. And due to the fact, see, I'm going to stay true to the game, so now I got to go defense. You oh. You don't have to. You can go wherever you want, right? No, I'm going to go defense. I'm going to go my guy, man, Earl Thomas. I like, oh, I like Earl Thomas. Earl, Earl, Earl the Pearl. Why are you doing that to hey, me, baby, man? You know, I gotta, you got to be a great GM, man. That's one of the things about <laughs> picking you Earl the Pearl. A great GM. That's pretty good, man. I like that one quite a bit. Um, I need uh, – so what do I need here? What do I need? Uh, no, I, I'm not happy with my, my picks right now. Don't worry about that. Go wild card here. All right. I'm going to go Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. I'm going to go Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. Graham. We, got, we got Colt McCoy. We got to get him some playmakers, guys. I understand. Yeah. Got to get him some playmakers. I am killing this draft. <laughs> Who you got? I'm going another Hall of Famer in Dominic and Sue. Ooh, Sue. Uh, listen, between the trenches, y'all cannot play with me. Don't worry. I got, hey. I got, I got something for you. I, I was going to say, I got something too, but I, I think oh, I'm back again. I, I ain't going to steal mine. And, and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see where I'm going now. All right. <laughs> All right, I got I got offensive line. I got defensive line. I got grunk at tight end. I need a pass catcher. A B gone, right? A B gone. A B gone. Uh, okay. Mm. Better get the X. I think I think I'm a gone. I'm gonna take it right there. I'm going day is right. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like that. That's uh, awesome. So what do we need? A defensive player? 
Y'all forgetting uh, about Joel McCoy. Nah, no, what? Uh, yeah, Get out of here, man. <laughs> Big mouth. <laughs> God damn! Let's this, this get my guy away. Yeah, thank you, friend. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Mother, Joe McCoy, come on down. Uh, Lord have mercy, man. Well, since he got Gerald McCoy, I'm gonna get my dude. Uh, he got eight fingers. Oh yeah, Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul. Pierre Paul. Yeah, he Paul. left a finger in my backyard. <laughs> and, and guess what? I got another pick, right? <laughs> yeah, this and, being in the middle is the worst. <laughs> and and last but not least, oh, it's got to be one of those right here that that soccer team that say, you know what? I just edged out and had the better draft. I'm gonna put this guy on my team. I think he's he's I very deserving. Jay Roberts because he brought that Zaxby's up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pure love, <laughs> right? We needed that. Um. Oh yeah, Cam Chancellor, Ooh, the enforcer. Like Cam Chancellor, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, the enforcer. And I'm going. We need to go all line here. I think probably right. Got to block some of these people. We got rushing the passer here. So I'm going pro Hall of Famer, Marquise Pouncey. Oh yeah, easy. Gotta have. Got, gotta protect. Guess I'm gonna go Hall of Famer too again. I, that'll be five in a row for me. Yeah, who you got? I'm gonna take the Hall of Famer and the. The golden standard for the state of Texas, Colt McCoy. I already drafted him. Pow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Duck Hunt. All right. <laughs> well, since y'all didn't have no quarterbacks. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. <laughs> Tim Tebow. <Yeah>. Tim Tebow. <laughs> you right, baby. The left-hand villain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need one more, right? Oh, man. No, no that's no, it. 15? That's it. That's okay. it. Call out the teams. You lost. That's all, all right. we have. So, right. so, um, I, so, Tana. Yeah. We start with Tana. Sam yeah. Bradford. So, Sam Bradford's the quarterback. Jason Pierre Paul is the edge rusher. Right, Tana? Yep. Who else you got? You got Demarius Thomas. Yep. Demarius Thomas. And then I'm missing one here. Cam Chance. Earl, Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas and, and Cam, Cam Chancellor. Dude. He got the Legion Earl of Boom. Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor, bro. Yeah, baby. The Legion of Boom. That's pretty good. Mine? So, Colt McCoy. Awesome. Really stoked about that. Yeah. Gerald McCoy. Awesome. Feel good Just about that Just number McCoy is on your team. Marcus, Marquise Pouncey. The real McCoy. Feel good about that. Jimmy Graham and Antonio Brown. I like that. We are throwing that ball all yeah. over the yard, man. Yeah, Until Jimmy too. quits on you. <laughs> <laughs> he retired like seven years ago. Didn't tell nobody. <laughs> he, came, he came back. He was good for a little bit, though. <laughs> he all right, so that. Fred. Now go Matt. All right, Fred. So we got Trent Wiggs. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, As yes. the quarterback. Gold you're gonna standard. You're going to lose every game. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Gronkowski. We run in the <laughs> wing team. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Trent Williams. Yeah. I don't have the rest of your people. Des, Des Bryant. Bryant. Okay. And then Dominican Sue. And Dominican Sue. Oh, that's serious. Yeah. That's pretty good. good. You got a good team. What? They don't have a quarterback. They don't have, oh, yeah. Uh, nobody in this draft so, has a quarterback. Do you understand that? Sam Bradford stunk. Tana, right? Tana, <laughs> right? I would take Tana. Hey, Cole man. Had the I had to get grip. the better one out of all of them. Did Tana draft an O-lineman? <laughs> no, we're playing, we playing seven I on know. seven. <laughs> playing seven <laughs> on seven football. So I think that's going to hurt Sam Bradford with his injury prone in his career. Yeah, yeah. We playing seven. He getting the ball quick. Get rid of it. Three yeah. Sam Bradford, Mr. Glass, same person. Yeah. Hey, so you man. need a line to protect that guy. So yeah. fans, we're going to argue about our. We're running hitches, man. I want my team to win, but what team do you guys think is? The I actually best? like Fred's. I'm not. I'm not, not going to lie. It's this pretty good be the team. First one. Yeah, it's pretty good team. First time yeah, I want to give. Tim T, first time I want to give Fred uh, the, the <laughs> nod. You know. Hey, can I ask y'all out of the three store quarterbacks, which one um, won the playoff games? I think it's mine. Tim Tebow. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah through to Thomas. Thomas. Uh, so Tim, against the Steelers. So Tim Tebow is the best quarterback has, out of this draft. That has to be the best defense in the history of the NFL. <laughs> they won that game hey, bro, 14 yeah. to yeah. 10 or something. Yeah. All I remember is that left hand <laughs> going to Demarius Thomas. And they, do you remember the front they were playing? This is football nerdy stuff. They literally had nine guys at uh, the line of scrimmage. In the box. There was no safety. They were like, we dare you. Because he, he had threw the ball. And he threw that ugly slant. <laughs> I don't know if it was slant or it was, it was a like damn a drift, drag. Like a drift, yeah. like a it was a drift or whatever drift. it was. It took forever to get I there. I remember Tim Tebow throwing the ball five yards. It just <laughs> dropped and hit the ground. I was like, this guy right here. Dog. Jesus, the only thing saving him. Do you remember Derek Anderson? <laughs> no. The little, little white wide receiver. Yeah, that came oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he came Denver. out here and he, he had just come from uh, Denver. from Denver. And, I, and he was like, oh, you know, like, oh, what was Tim Tebow like? Man, that must have been a pretty cool play with him. He's like, just, just so you know, in seven, when we're doing routes like one on ones, it's like I would count to make sure that he wasn't throwing to me. Lord have mercy, <laughs> that's bad, man. Hey. It was bad, and that's we're not bad. throwing any Tebow hate. Great player, 
But I only the best quarterback in this class. Yeah. I, you say what you want to. No nah. playoff wins. No playoff. <laughs> y'all, y'all running. Kobe damn, Coy's like still Y'all playing. running pop. Pop pass, man. That's all y'all running with T. T. Bo. To Gronkowski, though. I've been saying I got a six six tied in. To Gronk. All right, so leave a comment. Let us know who you think uh, who won this draft, and please, we always appreciate your support. Like and subscribe wherever you yeah. get your podcast, and check us out on YouTube if you want to see our ugly faces. We are brought to you by Bet Three Six Five. At Bet Three Six Five, we don't do ordinary. We believe every sport should be epic. That's why we offer an in-game experience which covers. Over 78 sports and 780 live streams to 90 million customers worldwide. Our online betting brand is powered by a world-class proprietary product and over 7,000 employees across the globe. Whatever sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365, the official sports betting partner of the Washington Commanders. Must be 21 plus and physically located in Virginia. Please gamble responsibly. If you or someone know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-GAMBLER.